Welcome to the Great Sand Dunes National Park in Colorado. And if the light comes, we are gonna have an incredible shot just here. Well, this is just incredible. Just five minutes ago when I arrived, there was no light on these distant sand dunes, which must be a few miles away. But I could see the light sweeping over the landscape, and I knew that if that light was to illuminate the foreground and those dunes, yet the dark mountains in the background remain in shadow, then that is gonna make for a beautifully dynamic shot, full of color and contrast. We have so much weather around that it's just gonna, yeah, it's gonna make for a great photo shoot. Yeah, I knew that the weather was gonna be dynamic today. So it's a good job we got that shot when we did, but yeah. Even though I probably only have about an hour and a half of light and very, very, very limited time in this national park, I have a funny feeling it's gonna be a good one. So let's see what happens in the rest of this video. Now this is a photograph that I took just after the one you've just seen. Now I didn't record any video because it was very much an impulsive photograph, it looked interesting, I took a quick shot, but I thought it wasn't worth making a whole video piece about. When actually it turned out to be a shot that I really enjoy, giving a very painterly feel. Now whilst I've got you here, let me apologise for the windy audio which unfortunately continues throughout most of this video. And as well as that, I just want to let you know that my 2025 calendar is now available for pre-order. There's a link in the description below, or you can scan this fancy QR code on the screen in case you're watching this on a television. All pre-ordered calendars are discounted by 15% and will be hand-signed by yours truly. I've left it very late. I uh, under anticipated how far and how big these dunes were. I've come onto the dunes now and I'm actually at the east side of the dunes. So the sunset's gonna set behind them and it's probably about half an hour until sunset and I'm looking at these dunes and I'm thinking, there's no way I'm getting to the top of these dunes in time for sunset. My hope was to get dune foreground, beautiful sunset, classic sand dune image. I think I'm gonna to have to rethink this because they are pretty big dunes. But look at the clouds though, man. The clouds are just phenomenal. So I think we're gonna be okay. I still think we'll get a shot, but let's just see. See if we can pull something out of the bag in time before dark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there is no way I'm getting to the top of these dunes for sunset. It feels to me like sunset is almost now. So I think what I'm gonna do is just work with what I have. And actually, I, I think this is quite nice. We have quite a lot to work with. Uh, let me get my camera gear out and we'll see what we've got. All right, I think I'll start with the 24 to 70. So my initial thought or my initial idea was to use all of these textures in the sand that kind of sweep up through the dunes to this very dramatic dark sky. But every single second that sky is actually beginning to dissipate, 
and move off to the right, leaving these huge hot spots. You see that there in the, uh, up in the top left corner? A big bright hot spot, really difficult to deal with and very distracting and not very nice to photograph. So sticking with the same idea, I'm gonna try and create a similar shot, but using a much tighter focal length of about 50 mil, I reckon. And I've, I've got, I just realized, I've got my hat on backwards, which, uh, you know, is a little bit Brendan Van Son. So um, yeah, it's because the, the wind keeps blowing it off if I'm, the wind's coming. Anyway, you don't want to know about that. It's, it's the wind. Okay, so this is more or less my composition now. I am going to make a confession that I actually took this shot about three minutes ago before this white hotspot appeared. But as you can see, we have a tight composition with textures in the foreground leading through to these dunes and the dark sky in the back. Oh, sorry guys, the wind is whipping up the sand. Oh, this is just, it's difficult enough to work in the wind, especially when you're doing video, but when the wind is blowing the sand up into your face, Oh, it's a bit of a pain. <laughs> oh dear, I'm going to have to get my gear serviced after this, I think. Oh, my bag's open. Oh, God. Oh, hang on, I'm going to have to stand up. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm just being battered by sand, sandblasted in the face. I, I feel rushed. I don't feel like I've made the best of this national park. But you know what? I was driving past it. I had a couple of hours of daylight. And I thought to myself, you know, it, it doesn't matter if I don't get a, a great shot or even if I don't make a great video. You know, I made a video a couple of months ago now that was titled F8 and Be There. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll link to it below, but it's all about, sorry, I'm gonna try and get out the wind. It's all about worrying less about the photography and just enjoying being out and seeing new places. And for me, this is a brand new place. Yeah, I might not have got the best images, but uh, I'll tell you what, I love being here, man, and I'll be here long after dark, because this is beautiful. That is if I can get out of the wind. <laughs> yeah, anyway, yeah, we'll see if this image worked. Well, I have to confess, this is not my best work, and I kind of knew that at the time when photographing it, but I felt the pressure to get an image before it got dark and before the video ended. And after taking this, I thought I was done, so I actually stopped looking for images. And then, well, what happens when you stop looking? Yeah, you start seeing things. Oh God, guys, I thought we were done. <laughs> I thought we were done, but, ooh, looking at this, even though it is now officially the blue hour. Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> okay, I got, oh God. <laughs> I got sand blowing on my nose and it's making me sneeze. Now, it's blue hour and if anything that adds to the magic of this shot. This looks beautiful. Let me see how it looks through the camera. Let's see here. Oh yes. Oh, that is, oh man, I thought we were done and now I think we might have the best image of the day so far. I say day, the best image of the hour. Let me bring you up. Hang on. Okay. Down. I am really rushing here, guys. I don't know how quickly it's going to get dark. I'm going to stand this side so the wind's behind me. Hopefully the audio is better. Can you see in the background, in front of this camera, between me and the camera, we have as almost a perfect zigzag going up the dunes all the way to the top. And those clouds that were moving out of my frame in the previous shot, well, more clouds have built in. So we have a dark, foreboding sky, no bright hot spots wonderful shapes and textures in the sand. It's such a clean composition. It's so alien-like, it's so abstract. It's everything I look for in photography. Now, here are my challenges. One, the light levels are incredibly low. So focusing is difficult. I'm worried that either you're gonna blow over or this is gonna blow over. So focusing is difficult, but it's not a problem. So I'm just gonna go in manually and get my focus. That is focus pin sharp. The second problem I'm having is the wind is hitting my tripod. So I need to make sure that it's stable because because it's so dark, we're gonna, we're gonna shoot this at f5.6, ISO 320, and that's still giving us an eighth of a second exposure. And even with image stabilization, 
I'm worried about the vibration caused by a strong wind, so I'm gonna take a shot and I'm gonna try and shield the camera with my body. Two second timer, looked like an idiot. Then there's the shot. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and check that it's sharp. It looks like it is. It looks like we have a sharp image. So this is fantastic. It's, to me, this looks, hang on, let me bring you closer. To me, this, this looks, looks more like a painting than a photograph. It's very monochrome, there's hardly any color, some blues and magentas, and it's just so clean. There are a couple of tiny areas where I'm gonna have to go in and clone out a couple of disturbances in the sand. Um, but other than that, it, it's just, it just looks like a watercolor painting. Um, and actually I'm surprised at the level of contrast we still have in these dunes, considering how dark it is now. I mean, let's just see if we can brighten this up a bit. It is very, even though on the camera it doesn't look dark, it is super dark. So I'm very happy with this. Three images, the first one, with the light on the dunes and the contrast, I'm pretty confident, I think that's gonna be a keeper. That could even be a calendar image. Second one I shot down there, all, in all honesty, I was rushing, I wanted to get a second image, um, and I kind of stopped at the first thing I saw, and then I stumbled upon this scene. And to me, this is a, this is a winner. Absolutely fantastic. So yeah, very, oh, sorry, sand in the eyes. Very happy with this, guys. Uh, anyway, I'll, uh, I'll stop waffling on and we'll pop the image on the screen. Oh man. It is now officially night time. God, can you hear me? Oh no. Oh, hang on a minute, I'm gonna have to stand up. Oh, oh apologies guys, the, w the wind is howling, so I can't kneel down because if I kneel down then I'm in the, I'm in the zone of the whipping sand so it goes in my face. Uh, but I just wanted to say, um, like, I, I know this is a short video, and I almost, part of me thought, I'm not gonna make a video because I won't have enough time. But then I started this channel just by simply going out into the field and taking a couple of images. That's it, sorry, hang on. I'm gonna have to zip my bag. Yeah, if I, if I, didn't, if I don't zip my bag, it, it will literally get filled with sand in about five seconds and all my gear will be destroyed and I'll have to clean my bag out and it's a nightmare, which I'm gonna have to do anyway. But as I was saying, I started this channel just by going out and taking an image and that was it. And now as YouTube becomes a, a more crowded space and competition's high and there's more choice of things and videos for people to watch, I found myself always looking to try and create some sort of message or hidden meaning or, or education, you know. I, I don't know, but like essentially possibly becoming a bit pretentious and, and that's great when there is a meaning there, but what happens with me is I often try and craft a meaning out of what essentially is just a photo shoot. And I thought, you know what, let's bring it back to basics with this one. Walking around, finding a few compositions, taking the shots, that's it. So no sponsor, nothing like that. Just a nice, good, old fashioned video. If you do want to support the channel, the absolute best thing you can do is let me know your thoughts on the images in the video in the comments. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It's all free of charge. It all just takes a few seconds. And if you want to support me further, well, you can go to my website. I have a couple of books for sale um, and, and things like that. But yeah, mainly just interacting with the video is a huge help. So thank you guys. And I will see you next week, hopefully. <laughs> Cheers, bye, bye, bye. Yeah, goodbye. Uh, although not before we look at the raw files. This is something I'm doing new on the channel where we look at my edited images, which you've already seen. And then alongside, we also see the raw files to give you an idea of my editing process. And of course, don't forget my calendar, once again, is available for pre-order. Pre-orders have a 15% discount and are hand-signed by me. <laughs> right, cheers guys, I'll see you next week.